Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas. Look how beautiful it is today. It's absolutely good. There's not a cloud in the sky. 73 degrees, crazy stuff. Folks, the 2002 T-Bird. This is the commemorative car. To commemorate, you know, all of our old favorite 60s, 50s and 60s T-Birds. This yellow is insanely beautiful. I've never been a huge fan of these cars until this canary yellow kind of color comes in here and I just went nuts over this car. The top comes off really easy, two to three person job. The top comes off really easy though, it takes a moment. Then it's got a black soft top to it, which is in perfect condition. And the car has a, uh, I don't know, uh, around, we'll, we'll figure it out in a minute, 18,000 or so change miles, 16, 18, something like that. We'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, under 20,000 miles on the odometer, folks. And it totally shows it. It's all one beautiful color of this yellow. There is not one instance where I think a fender's been painted, uh, the top's been painted, any of the things, the wheels are in beautiful shape. This car is just really extra, extra pretty. I have seen a couple of these before. They were red, they were black. Um, and this kind of, I, 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 lack of better words, beaten to death. And this is just in such super, super shape. It's it, everything, all the body panels line up real nice. And I barely have a whole heck of a lot of anything to say about this car. But what am I doing here? I'm your living, breathing condition report guy, okay? So unlike any other website or any other video that you'll see anywhere else on the internet, I go over every square inch, pretty much. Uh, every body panel, maybe you're a collector of these things. It's got under 20,000 miles. You wanna know if it's got a bunch of touch-up paint on it, if it's got dings in it. How much of it do you have to really paint when you get it? You don't, you're in good shape. That's why I'm here to let you know those things. Am I a professional of paint and all that stuff? No, but I've uh, done this many, many times. If I find any blemishes on the car that I think should be addressed, I'm just simply gonna let you know. But other than that, so far, I haven't really, I really wanted to bring a microfiber towel out here to go over some stuff that, uh, you know, we, we, I, I might wanna just wipe off to make sure it's just crud. Uh, inside of these vents here, this chrome vent up front, uh, this can all be shined up. Uh, there's, there's a couple little watermarks in here. If you listen closely, you know, that's just, you need a little uh, uh, clay bar to go in each one of these little sockets. That one seems to be shined up actually. Uh, but you hear that, that's just environment that's gotten on the car. I am fairly certain via all my babble here that with a little bit of attention, this entire chrome grill will shine up absolutely just about perfect. There aren't any heavy road wear, nicks or gashes in it. It's all in really good shape. It's just some crud. And right here, this is just a detailer. I feel a little bit in the paint right there. There's a couple little marks. I, you know what, I do think I see a little touch up paint right there. Boy, it's so small. It's taken five minutes for my eyes to focus in the direct sunlight of this yellow. So bear with me, I think more will pop into my view as we go along here. But, I mean, down here along the bottom, I'm, I'm gonna lay down here right in front of you. Folks, underneath the front end of this car looks great. Um, I am going to say something though, because I feel compelled to do so. Quincy, I need your camera. Okay, now. See, this is definitely things that you don't get off the internet. So what would happen here is that one of you guys would trust me and uh, you'd buy this car and uh, you'd get it home and you'd be mad at me for a minute because I lied. Uh, down here, someone did a very tasteful touch up. Maybe they drove into, a, this is all very straight. I need to be clear. See, I'm grabbing it and pushing it up and down. This is very straight. This is important. Pay attention to what I'm saying here. Um, it's been painted. Just down here though, up here, I still see all the really, uh, all the thick uh, clear coat, if you will. But right here, I, I guess um, maybe somebody made a mark on it. They wanted to shine it up a little bit. And so they found the correct paint and they sprayed it. 
How do I know this? Well, look underneath. All the way down, you see uh, this plastic piece and it's got some yellow on it. I don't believe that that's factory. Uh, I don't care what anybody tells me, it's not factory. But look, this is a very tasteful job. I didn't even know it was done and it covered up a mark that somebody didn't like. So bravo, it's nicely done. I don't know what else to tell you. So there you go. Find that on the internet, folks, that kind of honesty. All right, the rest of this nose is beautiful. Now, this is, these cars are all very popular for uh, spider webbing and I don't have any spider webbing. I just think that's just some crud. The lenses are nice. These fog lights are in great shape. I didn't even bring them up. I'm gonna finish this nose up. I'm just gonna keep talking about the nose. This is beautiful. It's all really, really, really sharp. I can see where some wax is left over from somebody waxing it. Look at that. I didn't even notice that until we were outside too. That's just leftover wax. Okay, let's look up on the nose, the whole hood of the car. That was just some crud. There's a bug, get lost bug. Okay, now I'm gonna level with you. This is a very unique color. And even if there were scratches in it, well, if you, there's scratches in it, you're gonna see the scratches. But even light scratches in the clear coat, which I can barely see, it's all completely normal. It's about as nice as it can get, folks. This is just beautiful. It's beautiful paint, it's thick. I can, you know, you can see leftover spots, you know, the, 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 you know, the eyes, it's hard to see. Uh, leftover wax here and there that I wasn't, I didn't see until now, we didn't, we didn't do it, but I get it. And I get the care of this car and that it's had. I mean, even the condition of the wheels. These wheels take crap, folks, like instantly off the showroom. If you don't continuously wipe them down, keep them clean, and keep them in a nice environment. And they're really, really sharp. So this car has been really well cared for. Let's shoot down the passenger side. I had no idea that I was gonna talk or take this along with this automobile, but it is what it is. I'm looking all the way down the side of the car here, folks, and I just see nothing but super sharp everything. I see a lot of bugs. I see some extra cleaning that needs to be done here. I don't see any of those nasty dings. Um, I do see a lot of areas that can be cleaned up and shined up more. That's just the detailing thing. Um, you know, clay bar, little magic eraser. Okay, right here in the middle of the door is a small abrasion that you can barely see. There's no ding. There's no scratch, and it might even be able to get detailed off, as a matter of fact. I didn't address like full detail this front wheel. I wanted to make sure it didn't have any curb rash on it. it does not have any curb rash on it. It does have a little bit of uh, some, maybe some of that clear coat on here is starting to remove itself, but we are, we are years away from this producing, you know, the, the, the awful film that's, that shows up on these wheels. You keep them well dressed and well cared for, they're gonna be in great shape. Same thing with this rear wheel. I don't see any curb rash back here either. All right, the back of the car, back license plate, there is a real small little black mark back here, but I'm, I'm almost positive a, uh, a detailer will be able to get that taken off. The, uh, the whole socket for the license plate holder is in beautiful shape. This black is very black. This chrome piece is very chrome. There's no pitting in it. The rear tail lights are in super shape. No, there's no cracking or fogging in either of them. And there's no cobwebs back here splitting in either side of the bumpers. The trunk, I'm gonna hunker down here and let the sun, my eyes are gonna hurt after this. I just see normal microfiber towel going like this, swirls in the paint, then any detailer can remove with a very light polish instantly. That's all you have. That's about as normal as it can get. We'll go look at the top in just a minute. Are we good here in the shade? Can we have a handle this? All right, good. Oh, my eyes are all banged up now. Goodness gracious. 
okay, I just see normal uh, crud from the from uh, normal road wear. This car was not heavily detailed. We went out to kind of sort of honestly leave it alone. Uh, we gave it a quick wash. Uh, I think we gave it a quick wash. Uh, we just wanted to, you know, it, it's it's you know you you're even wet, wetting these cars when you don't have to. You just you don't want to do that either. Uh, I think it's pretty much how it came to us. So um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna check all the way down towards the road on this side. This side looks just like the other, just a couple little throw ups, some, um, some tar that it's flipped up on the car. But other than that, there aren't any gadges, gashes. This is just little tar stuff. Not bleeding through to the paint black underneath or anything like that. I haven't seen one ding yet. This is about as smooth as can be. Side mirrors are even in incredible shape. And your front driver's side wheel and tire. The tires look great, folks, by the way. Windshield, little to no wear. There aren't anywhere I could stick my finger in and call it a big chip in the window or anything like that. Okay, maybe this one right here. You can hear my fingernail getting caught in it. Does it need to be repaired, folks? No, okay? I'm just giving you condition. This piece right here is nice and black, got real nice and black across the top. This chrome piece going all the way across the front of the car is just about perfect. You get our reflection, it's a mirror. This is mirror, see that? Hi. Okay. Well, oh, let's look at the top. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, this top comes off. There's a lever down here. There's a lever on the other side. There isn't anything up here. You just have to trust it. And uh, one person here, one person on that side, one person inside undoing the bolts, and you walk it off the back of the car. You put some towels on the floor. You set it down very nicely and then you drive around just as a convertible or there's a black soft top, power soft top that comes up out of the back of this, just like an old T-Bird. But, uh, you know, obviously a lot more technology, a lot quicker and so on and so forth. This is very, very beautiful. Folks, this top, the port windows is beautiful. Remember how I said that, you know, down here on this portion of the car, um, you see, uh, you know, some real light swirls, normal light swirls from microfiber towels and stuff. There isn't even one of those up here. Does it need to be cleaned? Does it need, uh, you know, a spit shot? Does a couple areas need to be addressed? Sure. Uh, but other than that, this top is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to double check the windshield over here on this side. We've gone around the whole car. I'm going to start to open up some doors here. I'm going to get the, going to need the remote. Actually, let's look in the trunk real quick. Let's see if this uh, trunk release works. Hey, hey, hey. That's always a good thing. Pretty darn nice. Let's see. Factory stickers. It uh, looks brand new back here, folks. About as clean as you can get. I don't know if this folds up. Oh, it does fold up. What's under here? There you go. Got your spare tire in there, and uh, there's your battery. Good to always good to know where the battery is. Battery looks new. All right. Let's look at the engine compartment before we climb inside. Look at that. That's about as clean as it gets as well, folks. The black is beautiful. 
You see a little bit of that cleaning product on there. It was kind of put on evenly enough, but you can tell you spent another, uh, you know, 60 seconds on it with a real nice rag in your hand, and uh, that's a show winning engine compartment right there. <laughs> Simple as that. Wow, we're approaching a fun car show Saturday, Sunday automobile with this one. Why not? I mean, boy, you take it to the golf course, you can take it to the grocery store, you can give it to the wife to drive every day, and then you can borrow it on Sunday to go to your local coffee or car show. This is awesome. Okay. Now, I, I need you to remember that uh, you need to go to celebritycars.com to see some really good photos of this interior. Um, I'm going to go over in detail. You're not gonna be able to see it as well as probably the photos. Uh, because of the goofy light going on here and stuff like that. But just, once again, pay attention to me. Um, uh, Quincy, could you stay right here? And I'm gonna go in from the passenger side and address the driver's seat. Okay. Every automobile that we get in here, doesn't matter if it's a 28 Ford or a, a 2022 Jeep. I always check out this bolster here and getting in and out of the car. And uh, just as, you know, it's just like a little measurement kind of thing. Uh, this car's mileage is, uh, uh, um, oh, I, 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 I forget. I forget that fast. Uh, not high mile. Oh, it's under 20,000 uh, original miles. This is completely normal of getting in and out of the car. Uh, what's important that you know is this. It's not cracking, got plenty of moisture in it. I'm not hurting it. This is just from getting in and out of the car. Same thing is here. Your legs getting in and out of the car creates a little bit of a crease. May not be as yellow as brand new, um, but uh, I, I also at the same time, I haven't gotten you know any sort of magic eraser or anything like that to see what kind of yellow I can make this come back to being. But um, completely normal folks. There you have it. The carpet's beautiful down here. Getting in and out of the car, this black, very minimal to, to nowhere from what I could see. I mean, we talked about the small chips down there, but this is really sharp. This is very sharp. It's all solid. The carpet's very clean. Uh, the steering wheel, the yellow uh, accents in here to match the car. There's, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, patina on this stick shift. I'm going to call it that because I don't want to call it scratches or cracks or anything like that. There's, there, it's not. It's just a, a little patina from grabbing it. Same thing as the steering wheel. There might be just a couple things on there because it's yellow, you know. It's hard to keep yellow perfect forever just like it is white. But, uh, but I, I, this is very, very mild, folks. I need, to, I need to explain that this is just very, very mild wear. You got, just got a good look at the driver's seat. Now come on over and look at the passenger seat and I'll swap sides with you. Now, as passenger seat, unless your husband and wife, uh, and this was your, your daily cruise car, uh, but you can tell that not too many people sat over here in this passenger seat. There's little to nowhere, and uh, the, the yellow is, uh, is fairly uh, a, a bit more vibrant and less uh, dirty, if you will. I, I really think that this seat, give us a call. You know, that's, that's what we're here for. You give us a call, and we'll, we'll talk about it, 702-818-1031. Say, hey, Scott, take a, take a cleaner and go over to that driver's seat and see how much of that... Uh, little dirt you can get out. And I'll let you know, I'm just not doing it right now. Okay, uh, center console is in beautiful shape. Uh, all the buttons for the convertible top, we played with it earlier when we were uh, making, uh, when we were doing all the photos. So the convertible top does work great. We're not filming that today. There's a CD changer in here with a six next to it. So I presume there's a CD changer in here, maybe somewhere. Uh, but uh, the, all these buttons look as good as new. Like if there were a tag hang, hanging here, like when you first bought the car, it, they, they, all those buttons just look that good. Now, uh, there's a slight smudge right here. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. It's not necessary. Um, I'm not sure if it can be cleaned off or not, and maybe the detailers missed it, or, or just uh, short detailers missed it, but you, you don't have to do that. Um, 
there's just a little area right there that uh, uh, you know probably can be cleaned off. But I, you know, I'm just being picky here. The chrome around the uh, the cup holder is in good shape. There seems to be a little rubber uh, a little rubber piece here around the stick shift that is working its way out. You see that? And it's doing that over here too. It's just a little rubber piece. I guess it's a gasket that's supposed to be down here into this little joint. Uh, it's working its way out. It's not a big deal. Not a deal breaker, I don't think. Um, all this is in beautiful, all the same color black. The backs of the seats, we haven't even talked about them at all. They seem to be in fabulous shape. The headliner in here for this convertible top is beautiful. Uh, geez, this is just a really, really nice car. The door panels, folks. I don't see any abrasions or marks or anything bad on the door panels, so you're in good shape there. Even all the buttons are all good. I guess what's left is to... Uh, Go for a drive. Uh, the dashboard, I haven't talked about that. I mean, the RPM gauges, uh, it's just this, this car is sick. Make sure you go to celebritycars.com to look at up close photographs, everything inside this car. We're gonna go for a quick ride. Make sure it drives straight. Make sure it, uh, you know, the wheels don't wobble. Make sure the brakes work. Make sure the transmission shifts the way it's supposed to. We'll be right back. Okay, so I've been bib babbling about the uh, miles on this 20, 2002 T-Bird. And uh, I was kind of off a little bit. The odometer shows 17,686. Under 18,000 miles on the odometer. Uh, I just started it up. It's got a little trip odometer showing up there. There are no other lights on the dashboard. Exterior temperature 61 degrees. Uh, I started it and uh, the you know, steering wheel came down to greet me. It was very cool. Headlights are on. Okay. I can put my foot on the brake. Engage drive. And off we go. Windows are down. I'll put the windows up. We're doing about 30. Doing about 35 miles an hour, I'm gonna hit the brakes. Three, two, one. Like a car that was built today. Beautiful. Foot back on the gas. Not a whole lot of rattles. Well, not any rattles. Okay. Yes. I put my foot down a little bit harder. I wanted to hear it uh, decelerate and grab second gear again just to hear what it would sound like. And it's just a very quiet ride uh, that gets out of its own way. And um, super smooth. It's beautiful. It's a showstopper for, for sure. This is a, a very unique color that we got in. And, and I just appreciate it more and more every moment. It's a very, very pretty car. Well, it drives super smooth. Uh, nothing rattles, nothing shakes. This is uh, for, you know, 17,000 and change miles on the odometer. This makes complete sense. This is uh, like driving a car from 2002 that was brand new. It's, it's just it's exactly how it feels. It's how it looks. And uh, it's just really, really, really sharp. Can't get enough of this yellow. 702-818-1031 if you have any more questions. Celebritycars.com, you get to see a bunch of really detailed photographs on this car. And uh, you're not going to find a whole lot wrong with it, that's for darn sure. It's super, super sharp. Back in the park. We'll see you next time. Thanks.